next here, like we said, man, Utopia Race is a call Apollo Kage. Snake versus Manjo. Uh, matchup I haven't really seen, honestly. Well, the thing is, like, it, when I'm playing as Snake in this matchup, I, I need to wait for Apollo Kage just to. So I see the Banjo pull out the grenade, and I try to, like, use my grenade to blow up his grenade. <laughs> so he gets blown up while he's trying to use his move, and then I, like, attack him from there. He also has a uh, really good Nikita to catch Banjo's recovery. But, yeah, Banjo can just do this. <laughs> he can definitely just blow up Snake with the, the few right reads he gets. He also has great cami tools in his own right. Nice use of, he tried to use the throw armor there to like, you know, get the damage without trading, but it's a little bit off. But uh, yeah, Banjo has really good projectile in his own right with the grenade and the uh, Regal bl bl Blaster. Yeah, Regal Blaster. Yeah. He's not, oh wow, you really want to get that roll in. But yeah, he's not really using it, but he can use that move to uh, deal with Snake pulling grenade. He just hits him with the uh, neutral B of his own to kind of catch him in place. Either way, also really good up tilt from uh, Apollo Kage. So actually really good move to use as a kill move in this match specifically because Banjo likes to jump a lot. <laughs> if you can catch yeah. that with up tilt, you can even kill like heavy Banjo pretty consistently. Great C4, make his uh, landing to the ledge a little bit safer. So far, man, Palkai is trying to find an opening, but yeah, Topian Rays, so evasive here. And playing so intelligently around Snake's grenades, too. Okay. Good dash attack. Oh. oh, and the armor oh. from the side special, man. That was so good from Ray. He knows that Apollo Kage is going to be setting up those traps. Why not punish him for it? Especially with the armor that you get from Wonder Wing. So much, so much pressure right here from Topian Ray. Covering a lot of the options while also playing uh, really patiently around the explosives of Snake. Oh, what a good oh. hold, too, because he gets the explosion damage, too. All right, Ray on the jump here, trying to look for the landing. Ray is taking his time, man. He knows he has such an upper hand over Apollo Kake. Oh, good use of the down tilt. It's an excellent low profile. For Banjo, Ooh, but he's able beautiful. to armor through and he wow. hit the grenade as well. What a play from Ray. Alright, out of the wings, but you can kill Snake with so many things. Oh, no up smash. That was good too, because he sensed that maybe Apollo Kage was trying to get, go back to the ledge to create some space and he wanted to punish that. All right, using grenade to get in. Excellent tr attempt here, but Apollo Kage is not gonna have any of it just yet. Over, man. Snake can kill and rack up damage incredibly early, and like you can already see, Apollo Kage is setting up the field. Oh, doesn't get the full hit of the down air. Okay. Yeah, rapid jab. Apollo Kage at 190 here, 69 on Ray. Apollo Kage has a oh. chance. Up air does not kill. Yeah, That's that up air will never kill. So even though he gets the juggle, oh, but. Oh! Mm. oh, okay, okay. I thought I thought he was safe. I, was, I saw he didn't match out immediately and Ray missed the up tilt. I thought uh, Apollo Kaiga would match out at that time while he was busy with the up tilt, but he still was able to up smash since he was buried for a really long time. I kind of sensed it from Ray just because the way that like he used up tilt a lot the previous time, and I was like, okay, I think he's going to go for up smash here just because, just because it's later for sense, and up tilt having a pretty... A more direct hitbox over up smash having you know the way that it is still really good it, it was crazy from ray to just go from up to up smash but still apollo kage had the chance to think to pretty much take things back but ray just having that one step ahead of him we'll see how the next game goes between these two here it's, it's game number two best of five territory for these two players here apollo kage wasn't that far behind but we'll see how he lets ray get up get ahead of him here honestly the matchup is really hard because the tools that banjo has 
for Snake to interact with on Grenade is really difficult. But now we're seeing Apollo Kaga take a more direct approach here, being a little bit more aggressive instead. Definitely working out for him right now. Nice use of the Wonder Wing to get through all the explosions, but Apollo Kaga is still really good stage control right here. Right here, man. Power Kage is just holding on to the lead as best he can. Great air dodge to avoid the Wonder Ring. But yeah, any potential trade he gives is like even more of a good thing for him. Yeah. Called oh, excellent use of Wonder Ring. And we talked about how that grenade, just the way it interacts with Snake, but also Utopian Ray, taking time to know like Snake is going to commit to that down smash. Sorry, the up smash. Punish him for it. We saw him do it with Wonder Ring. He's going to definitely take the time of the day to do it with a grenade. And what a read on the landing here because now Utopian Ring has the stage control and the ability to just get Snake out of the cypher like so. I like these jumps from Ray because he gets away from the stage, lets Apollo Kage set up, and then uses the grenade to secure the landing. I especially am liking Ray's use of the Wonder Ring in this matchup too. Just yeah. To just eat his way through all the explosions while having the active hitbox in his Snake as well. Yeah. He's not letting Snake play the way that Snake wants to, and he's able to just break through the mold like that. Always having, look at the way that he uses Grenade to push in towards advantage. Immediately buying his time, he uses his final Wonder Ring here. Wow. I could see, was that the forward smash? Yeah, forward smash. That's actually a really good landing uh, trap too for Banjo. If you know this thing is going to like be reverse there, maybe air dodge, you can just position it with like the dash back forward smash. Very good. Oh, juggle opportunity. Oh. He's really trying to keep Apollo Kage in a rough spot. Oh. Oh. The Cypher hitbox saving him. Yeah, pretty much. Utopian Ray was just one step away from getting this 2 out here, but Apollo Kage, like the last game, he is also one step to taking things back here. Can he find the opportunity? He gets the cross right. up. He has the trap set up. Good use of Sniper, and he catches the oh. landing with dash attack. Apollo Kage is quickly making plays here, and he reads the final side special there, and he gets the up tilt, sensing the M like from Banjo's Wonder Wear. Great stuff yeah, to Apollo Kage. Yeah, I definitely bet it all. Bet it all on that wondering connecting. And uh, Paul Kage was ready to punish. Really good stuff. Great comeback, honestly. Paul Kage was in a very bad spot. Yeah, he was in a very bad spot indeed. But still, like, he looked at how the situation was from last game. Pretty much brought that back towards this game. And then was able to seal it out as seeing how things went between him and Utopian Ray. A really quick answer here on Skylark Smash. 250 per sub is for the streamer, right? It changes when you're a partner. Typically speaking, if you are a if you're a Twitch partner, the amount that you get from subs is different. Now, um, I'm curious if uh, the banjo, you know, doesn't work out, will Utopian Ray consider uh, the Palu switch? I don't think Palu Tana is very good. Uh, character against Snake. But. He also has Rosalina and Luma uh, as another character option as well. So we'll see. Uh, very similar to Sharp, almost. He's got, or I guess Chaz in this case. He's got three characters he's been he's used before. So we'll see how things go. But he's able to catch Apollo Kage on the lining on the lining there. So Ray looking to make a little bit of a play here. Apollo Kage is uh, in these situations before though. And he's been able to just find a way to keep the game really close or even just make the comeback. We're kind of seeing the opportunity right here. He's locking down the left side of the stage with these explosions. Yeah. Oh, no roll there. Uh, he's hoping we're trying to see his snipe the up smash. Mm, but oh, it's going to be Apollo Kage getting the up tilt instead. 
Ray had set that up so well because he set up grenade to cover the timing on Apollo Kage if he wanted to come to the stage. He had to consider a grenade here, but he played an unfortunate to Kage's hands. Kage now playing into Ray's hands here, even stocks. Kage with a little bit of a lead here, changing that to 25 though. Ray breaks through the stage. That one ring, man. So good. It's just like going through all the next options with yeah. explosions in neutral. No pun intended, man. It, it does wonders for the character that is Banjo. Oh, no grab here. Apollo Kage fighting his way towards center stage. Excellent back air there to try to punish Banjo, even hitting the bullet from the Brigo Blaster. I'm sorry, the egg. Oh, knocks him out of the up Ooh, Trying to use that standard hitbox up the ledge, just wasn't able to get it to work. Yeah, Apollo Kage right barely getting the stage invincibility here. I like how he still uses Nikita because he still forces Utopian Ray to pick a different landing option every time. Yeah, my force ray to go to grenade or my force grenade to go low. Always worth an attempt here. Apollo Kage with the trap on the C4. He's looking to have a lot of stage control now. But Ray is gonna break right. through here on the right side, come back towards center stage. Oh. So scary. Banjo can actually chase Snake up there if he's ready for it. But down throw forward tilt, barely living. He has to worry about the Nikita now. Yeah. Has the grenade in hand. Just stall nice. a little bit. Nice. Oof, and air out to the ledge. Yeah. Amazing recovery from Ray. An amazing upper from Apollo Kage. He missed that just oh. by a hair. He was so oh, close, but Ray senses the aggression. The smash ultimate. By dodge cancel up smash. Good for Ray to pull that out though at the ledge, because he sees, you know, Apollo Kage is the shark in the water. He sees that the percent is red, just like the blood. He knows, man, he's a little bit too aggressive. Might have to calm him down here and put him back to my level. But Ray is at 61, but Apollo Kage on a lead here, looking to reverse things compared to the first game these two played. For sure. And uh, now that Apollo Kage has a little bit of this uh, percent lead, he can actually play around the projectile game of Banjo relatively well. He, can, he might be able to start forcing Ray to make mistakes like that, like not paying attention to the C4 and uh, getting caught by it. Also seeing him uh, kind of hastily using the Wonder Wings here, just trying to close mm -hmm. the gap. But yeah, yeah, Apollo Kage's patience is working out pretty well for him. Oh, he is that taking some air. back closing his face though, yeah. Oh my goodness, the armor going through everything. Oh, good on Apollo Kage. Kage, yeah, on the In a bad console. spot. Oh, Ray using that grenade. Mm. Still has one Wondering Wing left. Yeah, he's saving it for the right opportunity. He sees the percents are high here. So we might be seeing Ray trying to get some kind of cross up for the Wonder Wing. And if not a cross up, then a shield break or an, um, pretty much a read out of shield. Ray oh, taking so Suddenly, much control here with the Briegel Blast yeah. with the grenade in play as well. Suddenly it becomes a less hit game. They're both playing with their projectiles at such far distance on the Ooh, stage. No I'm more Wonder Wings left. Card. Ray thought he had the opening. Okay. Oh! Dion's badly on the back throw, but he's still alive. C4 on the, the ground. I was going to say, that's, that's, landing. It. that's yep. it. Nice catch. He threw the grenade up. See if he can bait a uh, poor landing from Apollo Kage. It was right there with the down throw. Oof. That was a nice, great play from Ray. Nice so comeback very last from second. a token Ray. Yes. Yeah. Very, very good. And even, Man, and even this is like a true then, battle of patience between these two. It's actually no, really crazy. That's what I'm watch. saying too, because if you saw how Apollo Kaye has set up the C4, they're at the ledge. He wanted a Utopian Ray to step over that C4, but just the hair so he could detonate it and then take the steel. But unfortunately, Ray was very well aware of where that C4 was, even on Final Destination here. It's going to be game four. Utopian Ray now on set point. Apollo Kage now on the final chance to stick to winner's side. We'll see how the adaptation or the adaptation plays against these two characters here on what is potentially the last game of the set. Man, I can't believe they're like gentlemaning to just keep playing on FD <laughs> in this type of matchup. They're like, you know what? We're we are throwing things, <laughs> okay? You're gonna throw things, I'm gonna throw things, and who's ever throwing things better is gonna win. We're just gonna keep playing on FD. We might get potentially five games on FD here. Okay, nice. Down throw into the down air. Hawkeye is setting up, setting up the stage really well. So oh, what many a neutral catch here. Here. Yep. Trying this to, time? yeah, he's really trying to force Ray to jump and then get that neutral there out. Getting a really good percent from that. Also, I really like this song. <laughs> this is one of the really good KOF songs. Yeah, this is really good. 
Oh, nice. Sneaks under him with the air dodge, immediately with the up tilt. Try up all Hage here on the lead. 77, he knows, man. Play lame, win the game. I don't have to really extend myself here. It's going to be Utopian Ray tossing everything in the kitchen sink to just break through. And he's got 104 on Apollo Kage. Apollo Kage has got to watch the landing here. As you can see Ray immediately looking for that pivot grab. Yeah, Apollo Kage has a read on uh, Ray's jump pattern. He's sneaking in these neutral airs pretty consistently, and that's really good percent for him. Okay. Going high here with all the grenades everywhere, but oh, no. miss input maybe? Maybe miss yeah. with the V-Reverse? But he messed up the V-Reverse. Yeah, you told me we will take that all day. Apollo Kage still, 65% here lead, you know Utopian Ray can bring things back, but Apollo Kage is not going to give him the chance, he's throwing everything out as well, even the Nikita on the stage. That's a jab, sets up with C4 there, is there, I'm sorry, sets up with a grenade here, and don't forget there's a C4 still on the stage, within oh a perfect goodness. distance to catch rolls here, Utopian Ray trying to fight back, but Apollo Kage is not easing up, look at all the trappings he's laid upon the ground. He is making it a literal war zone on the stage, just for uh, Yo Tobin Ray to even think about approaching. He has to go through like 20 explosives. <laughs> oh. Oof, oh! What a confirm! Oh! What a confirm! Oh my god! Tobin Ray steals that stock on a combo, he catching the grenade explosion. He told this that man to crazy. hold my grenade and I'll get this one. <laughs> What a catch, dude. Oh, what a catch he may indeed. have immediately lost this the, the stock afterwards, but he just turned this into a super even game. Yeah. Apollo Kage has such a huge lead. Yeah, and now the roles reverse. It's Utopian Ray with 58% and this big lead just from one offstage interaction goes to show how much Utopian Ray can play with this character in his hands. Yeah, very clutch banjo play right now. Apollo Kage might be getting a little bit frustrated, starting to get hit quite a bit. And Ray is, uh, he's taking some grenade trades here and there, but he's doing an amazing job of avoiding most of them. Almost yeah. getting the kill at the Wonder Wing, too. I think he might have three more left. And that's pretty scary for Apollo Kage. Oh, weird jab there. Yep, two more wings. The crazy thing about Ray, too, is when he uses Wonder Wing and he goes towards the edge of the stage, he's not necessarily in disadvantage for long because he'll use Brigo Blaster and Grenade to try to buy himself back towards center stage. And that's the crazy Wait thing about Banjo. Wait a minute. Okay. He had to use all the Wonder Wings there to avoid that. Yeah, that's so actually now pretty, pretty rough. Apollo Kage here on Winner's Chance. This could be his game to win here and Ray's game to lose. Able to land on the ledge here. Oh. Direction Air Dodge to try to come back. Very risky. Yeah, Apollo Kage is having some really, really poor landings, but he's just barely living. He's got to worry about getting down throw here, too, from Banjo. Mm hmm. And it's the way that Banjo plays. Look at all these projectiles he sent out. Eventually, Kage might have to force a hold of the shield, and this will give Ray the grab that he's looking for. But never forget, he's got that C4. Expends it now, because he knows it's not going to last much longer. So many grenades. This looks like oh a Michael goodness. Bay movie, man. And you tell me Ray's spacing around the explosions is so good. Follow Kage is trying to get some type of opening, but finds a dash attack. He's going to set up the Nikita here. Looking for the what throw? A trap, what a trap, Gets Oh, the, the yeah, running yeah, 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 yeah. All right, got the Nikita here. Forcing the landing already. He doesn't already. have He's any wandering left, he but he rolls. Jab. He'll catch another dash attack. Mm. Oh, and there's the Nikita. Oh my goodness, at 205%, Apollo Kage finds the opening, brings it to a game five. Oh my goodness, that looks so crazy. That would look crazy indeed, man. That was Skyline crazy. Smash with the clutch. It on deck here in the chat, man. And that is definitely clutch indeed, Strides. So crazy from both players right now. They are, they are throwing so many things while dodging <laughs> so many things. It's crazy to play like this. This is actually like playing a bullet hell game for both players. A little bit easier for uh, Banjo to avoid uh, Snake's stuff just because he has multiple jumps and like the angle of his grenade. Mm -hmm. But uh, still, it... It's crazy how both these guys are playing this matchup right now. I agree, uh, with, I, I, I agree with McDouglas, dude. This is a legit intense 
game five what's going to go down here utopian ray on the last chance to continue on towards winner's side and same story for apollo kage he has literally made the comeback time after time double dash attack before the starting frames of the wonder wing that's big for apollo yeah, this, this set so far between these two, man, it's gone so back and forth. Like, there's games where... Oh, oh no, oh. not like this. Not like this. Oh, no. Bad air dodge there for Utopian Ray. Completely missing the ledge. And that's just a super early stock to lose against Snake as Banjo. Paolo Kage is just racking up so much percent, too. He's saying, give me that free stock. I'm taking it all the way to the bank. Now, of course, this set so far, man, both these... Players have had huge leads and like they just been, made the comeback on each other. So I'm not gonna count Utopian Ray out of this just yet. Yeah. So far though, Palakake, man, he's making it really difficult. So much percent racked up. Another Nair catching the jump. And I like the way that Ray still uses these Wonder Wings because you've seen it, right? He'll use it to challenge things like Nikita or even a grenade toss to buy himself back on stage. What a way to catch the landing from Snake, but Apollo Kage using the hey. directional air dodge oh. to give himself invincibility and move away from the blast zone. That's an up tilt. No confirm oh, the because grenade. of the grenade. Yeah, the grenade was there. He couldn't follow up. Oh, man. Topian Ray definitely at kill percent to up tilt right here, too. Ray looking for a way to back in. Once again, setting up the Brigo Blaster, setting up the grenade. Looking for a way through, using oh. that Wonder Wing to get this big, big cross up. We know that he doesn't stay disadvantaged oh. for long, but he pays the price. Apollo Kage had the setup the entire time here. 170. Yeah, he, this is tough for Ray. Yeah, and Ray, he's desperate for the kill now. He's, he needs the stock. Not even the back throw will kill at almost 200%. Apollo Kage has some of the best DI I've seen. But mm -hmm. there is the Wonder Wing. Forced to use one of his last wings. Just take the stock. Paul Kage is still up two, though. Yeah, and that's the thing for Ray. He's out of Wonder Wings for the rest of this. Pretty much what is these last two stocks on Kage. Okay, once again, this is a really good setup here. Using Brigo Blaster to just try to buy his way back in. Force Paul Kage to pick an option here. Alongside with Grenade, Ray is slowly buying himself here to stage control. Kage, though, looking to not slip up as he takes the control himself instead. Uh, Tobin Ray still looks really comfortable in this situation. He's just slowly but surely taking the stage control back, trying not to, you know, trade with these grenades either. Yeah, the match is heated, but that's the thing about Ray. He's staying cool and collected. He knows. I got two more stocks to finish. Being upset is not going to get me there. Yeah. Oh, no. Definitely no. didn't mean to waste no, he, the one ring like yeah, that. Yeah, that was a okay. really tough waste, but Ray A is still able to come back on stage, but at the cost of a Wonder Wing here. Yeah, luckily for him, he didn't waste another one wing to get back to the stage. He actually just used the air dodge and the grenade. It's really smart. But man, Apollo Kage, he's kind of playing the war of attrition right here, right now. Ooh, back, back throw. throw. Even stops. At the now. ledge. Okay. Ray, he's a play out of his mind if he wants to make this comeback happen. <gasps> okay, yeah. Oh, he no, he to... burned oh, the be no. already. He was so afraid of the Nikita. He's so afraid of Nikita at the end. Apollo Kage with the enemy chaser across the stage, man. What a play. Three, two, Apollo Kage. Give it up for him, man. Taking that all the way back against one of New York's finest.